Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're here to do my weekly pay budget for this week of, um, really it's from the 21st through the 27th because my first payday of the week generally is on Tuesdays. So for this week it'll be the 21st through the 27th um, just because of how that pay falls. Sometimes I get paid on a Monday. Um, um, so yeah, this week we're just going to do from the 21st through the 27th. And then I do have a bunch left over. So we also get to figure out what to do with that. So first things first. Um, I completely forgot that I signed up for Adobe. Um, it's like a subscription. It gives me like access to like 20 of their apps, like Photoshop. Um, I use Adobe, I think it's called Spark for my thumbnails. I use Adobe Clip for, to put my videos together if they, if they're two separate videos. Uh, but I completely forgot that I signed up for this and it was like a free trial or something during Black Friday. And because I forgot about it, I also forgot to send this payment over to my city card. So this is actually to pay for December because once I sent the payment to my city card over um, for like Spectrum and Pandora and the dental, it pulled that out and paid it. So I had to send some extra over. So that... Uh, would have put me in the negative, but it didn't. And I think it's because I don't I don't know 100% what happened. I'm back on track for the most part. Um, I'm not going to fill out any of this yet because I still need to transfer some bill stuff over um, for like amounts. But let's just add in what we've got. So I've got my DoorDash pay. Grubhub pay and McDonald's pay. And that is, this was 21, 23, 23. Okay, so I've got 21464, 21948, and 71861. Okay. So this total brought it to, like, not including what was in my account. So this amount right here was $1,152.73. Okay, so I lied. I'm actually going to pause this or stop this or whatever, um, figure out this balance, probably move the stuff over just so I can keep it accurate, and then I will come back to you guys. Okay, so I got that figured out. Um, I was never in a negative balance, and I think it's, I think I didn't have to send this payment over. It still has not paid my dental, which is why it never actually put my account in a negative balance. Um, but I did figure that out. I got my bills money sent over. I still, I'm not 100% sure what, what I've got left. Um, but I do have three checking accounts. I don't know if I talked about this. Um, I've got one that my side gig money goes into. So DoorDash and Grubhub. I've got one that is just my McDonald's pay. And that was so that I could keep the two separated because I do have to pay separate taxes on my DoorDash and Grubhub income. And then I've got a third checking account that is to pay my bills. Like, um, Payments to my credit cards, payments to, like, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Um, a lot of these auto pays come out of my city card, but I send all of that money from my paycheck accounts to my bills account, and then I pay from my bills account. And that is just because bills like my Torrid credit card or... Um, like this CBB, my collections account. Um, some of those don't pull from my account right away. And in the past, I have 
overspent because I was not keeping track because in my mind, I'm like, okay, I paid that bill. Let's check it off. But I wasn't making sure that it pulled out of my account, if that makes any sense. So anyway, let's kind of get back on track. So I've got negative 20.81, 64 plus 219.48, Okay, we're going to brings it to 193.83. 4, 13, 31, 11, 31, 92. And then also we have one gas station in town that lets us pump before we pay, which I didn't even know was a thing anymore. I entered like my reward stuff and everything. I went to go put the gas pump in the thing in, in my car and completely forgot to insert my card. Luckily, it's a gas station I go to every day, but also when you don't pay prepay, they talk to you at the gas pump. And I'm really glad that they did that, but I did have to get fuel. So that is 2042. Okay, so we're at one or eleven eleven fifty. Okay, so we're starting out phenomenally. Um, my paycheck was, I was guesstimating 550 just because that's about standard where it's been. It was 71861. So a huge, like, I want, it, not a, not bonus. It wasn't any, like, bonus money. It was just that I worked the whole time. Um, so for the most part, I've got my little cheat over here next to my calculator. So I'm just going to fold this over and start writing stuff in. So first thing is Torrid credit card. That is $35. That is actually due on the 21st. I have sent that payment over. I'm just gonna put an X to say I scheduled the payment. It has not pulled from my account. And I think I need to go onto the website because it won't let me add a new account for my bills checking. So I think I need to go on to the website. These have all cleared. So I'm just going to put X's next to those. Um, this cleared. That. We're just going to start Xing. Instead. Because then it shows I've got one that's not. This did actually clear all the way out. Okay. So Torrid the city bill that's not right i put city twice this is the energy bill is 77 and that is due on the 28th i think but we're gonna pay it this week um the electric is 56.27. They are? Yeah. And then the city bill is 64.06. I guess I could have just wrote city instead of crossing it out. Oh well, it's fine. And then Verizon is on the 25th, and that is. 42108. And I've talked about this a little bit. Um, in case you guys are new here, um, our Verizon bill is so high because I first let me say I live with my mom. My son and my son and I live in my mom's house. And instead of paying her like a rent, um, I pay these four bills. It's all the utilities and then the entirety of the phone bill. So it's my phone, her phone, and four tablets. And um, like my half would only be my phone and two tablets. And then her half would be her phone and two tablets. Um, but because I don't pay her like a rent, this just seems easier. So I pay these bills. And so this bill will go down because we had a mix up with when I upgraded a Jetpack line to a tablet. And so that'll go down. We've been paying for 
both lines, turns out. And then in March, um, my phone will be paid off. So that'll go down by, by like $35. And we're going to cancel the data to my niece's tablet because she will just get to use Wi-Fi. She uses Wi-Fi at her dad's house when she's on her tablet. So there's not a whole lot of point having it connected to data. Um, so in March, our phone bill will drop again. But in February, it'll go down, um, I think, by about $20. And then in March, it'll go down another $50. So that is going to be super exciting. And I do need a new phone. I am just going to not get one. If this one breaks, then obviously I will get a different phone. Um, I'm not anticipating that, obviously. But I am going to just buy my next upgrade with just buying it outright. I don't want any more payments. Anyway, I went on a rant there. Oopsies. You spilled your candy. I went on a rant there. Um, daycare. And this is for December and half of January. So it's one fifty-seven twenty, And I am going to pay that, let's see. Today, you guys will be watching this on the 24th. So I'm going to pay it on the 24th. Okay, let's do some real quick math. My calculator keeps turning off because the batteries are dying. Okay, so then we've got 1076, 50, 99950, 943, 23, 879, 17. This is the big one, 42108. Okay, so it brings us down to 45809 and 15720. Okay, so three hundred dollars and eighty nine cents. Who's gonna pick up this? We'll get it in a little bit. Okay. Okay, so that leaves us about three hundred dollars left. I know that I will have to get fuel at least one more time, so that'll be about twenty dollars. I'm definitely gonna twenty dollars. Um, I'm definitely gonna run out of room here, so maybe in and I've already written on this side, um, so maybe in. February I won't I don't know I think I'm not I'm not going to take up this much space I'm just gonna put um paycheck and then just do this like just go straight into the transaction because I put this and on the monthly page I'll put the total not there not there I'll put the total here and I can actually do the McDonald's total because that's done. Um, this will be one fifty-seven twenty. Um, they did change the way they're going to bill me for daycare, so it'll be um, I'll pay on the eighth for the month before. So for the rest of January, I'll pay February eighth, and then um, for the first half of February, I'll pay at the end of February, and it'll just go in a cycle like that. Um, either way, I will be. Hopefully completely, like, I'm I'm caught up after this payment. I just, they didn't give me my last part of my December's bill until, like, last week. So, anyway. That's where we're sitting. So, $300 extra, which is fantastic. I was sitting here trying to decide if I wanted to pull that out in cash and do my daily savings. Um, obviously I'm not going to do all of it because I do need to get fuel. I'll probably need to get groceries, um, just some little stuff, but I am behind because I'm only done through day nine, but I might use a little extra to get caught up at least, at least as much as I can. So let's see. There you, there's a simpler way to do this on this calculator. I just can't think of what it is. So I can use $165 of that and bring me up to the 20th, which would only leave me 11 days left. Or get completely caught up. Oh, no, that only leaves me $20 left, so I'm not really comfortable with that. 
I don't know. I will figure it out and I will definitely keep you guys posted. As for an update, I've been terrible. I have been great. I've been terrible about updating. I've been great with my monthly challenge. I, me and my mom have gone out to eat a couple times. She paid. So for me, I have not spent any money um, on eating out. So that is great for me. So I'm doing fantastic. February's budget, I will talk a little bit about this. I will post a video for you guys on Saturday. February's budget is going to be the daily savings. So it's going to be this only um, with two less days. So, um, but I will have a separate video probably tomorrow for you guys. Um, but anyway, so that's where we're sitting at for my pay. I will definitely let you guys know how this is going. I will either use it for obviously groceries and fuel, but um, on Monday the 27th, yeah, um, the night of Monday the 27th, whatever's left, I will transfer out into my savings. And just, I think we're just going to do it that way. Anyway, that's where we're sitting. I'm going to end this here and I will see you guys in my next video um, tomorrow when I explain February's budget challenge. So keep an eye out for that. I will also be posting February's budget here soon. Um, I think I'm going to film that over the weekend. Anyway. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.